Trade, like I say, he attacks what you what you hold on okay. higher steam. That's what he, he. That's how he gets you. If I may, doesn't it say that um, in the scriptures that Israel, Israel is my firstborn, my fervent lover? Roughly paraphrasing. So why did the Most High smite the firstborn of Egypt? Because he, they were holding Yahweh's um, firstborn, so to speak, captive. Now we know that the first begotten spirit of all was Yahweh Shai. But yet the Most High sent Yahweh Shai as the angel of death in the midst of Egypt, Egypt, in the midst of Egypt, to smite all the firstborn of Egypt. So that was a big payback from the Most High. Right. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll just read that again. Can't. So Exodus 9, uh, 11 and verse 4. And Moses said, "Thus saith Yahweh, at about midnight I will go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn of the land of Egypt shall die, from the firstborn that sitteth of Pharaoh." The city upon his throne, unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and the firstborn of beasts. Mm -hmm. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. Yeah, you can stop there because um, that's what's happening now. You know, he's giving the warnings. Some of the plagues, you're getting a taste of some of the plagues. Yeah, they hit you with the, the knockout KO, yet. Yeah. Softening you up, but like softening jacks. you up, setting the stage for us to be delivered out of it. And if you could just get um, Exodus chapters 12 and then read 35 to end, just to end it off. Can't. 35, yeah, and 36. Can't. Exodus 12, 35, uh, it says, And the people took their dough, no, so like it, and the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses, and they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. This is yeah. And Yahweh gave the people favour in the sight of the Egyptians, so they lent unto them such things as they required, and they spoiled the Egyptians. So yeah, that, we got to look forward to that. Yeah, that all these plagues are not for just for um, just just for the sake of it. Yeah, there's something that's going to happen on on um, on our behalf, yeah, as it says there. And Yahweh gave the people favour in the sight of the Egyptians. Now the other day that we. He was in the week, he came out in the week and he brought out their reparation thing. Oh yeah. You know, we don't give a fuck about no reparation. We get we, we get our reparations anyway. This is our this is our this is our payment. Yeah. And seeing and, and us uh, knowing who we are at the moment, we know who we are, we feel dignified and we're edifying and we're bringing out these prophecies. That's our payment. And at the end result, we're going to see the end the fall of our enemies. That's right. Uh, Only with thine eyes shall they behold the, the destruction of the wicked. And then Lord decided to chime in, but yeah, yeah. and then Lord willing, we're going to get our crowns. That's right, man. Because that's you know, for, for all of us that do this work sincerely, that of the elect, which we hope to be, there is a crown laid up for us in heaven. So Esau can take them fucking FRN reparations and, and fuck off, basically. Yeah, let's, let's end up with the, with the last piece. Of Revelation. Yeah, you mentioned crimes. Revelation 3. Uh, Revelation 3 and 20 and 21. Right, Revelation chapter 3 from verse 20. Behold, yep, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in unto him and will sup with him and he with me. So, uh, to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me on my throne. Even as I also overcame and then sat down with my father in his throne, and um, yeah. yeah, he that have an heir, let him hear what the, the Spirit saith unto the churches. So yeah, we, as you said, we're getting these are our reparations, man. To him that that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me. Boy, that's that's some that's that's out of this world, you know. We just meditate, just took it down. You could do a video just on that, you know, yep. all the things that go surround that. Yeah, with me in my throne because if a throne hasn't got no. I speak about um, something that is priceless. Yeah. You can't put a price on on, 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 a, on a crown and a throne and being beside your whole shot. You know, as as one of his elect, your whole right is how we are. Yeah. You can't put a price on that, man. So you ain't gonna be able to buy us. We're not them everyday prostitutes that you can you can get to you know to do your dirty bidding. That's right. Brother done a video, man. Uh, just earlier I saw a little bit of it. Uh, it's that guy, Juvenile, he's trying to, they're getting him, they're using them now to push that back, that, you know, 
that, that, that juke and jab, man. They use them like yes, prostitutes, whores, and then when they finish with them, they dash their way. Exactly. So you think we're, gonna, we're, we're not those guys, man? We're not prostitutes where you just pay them off and use them, do what you do with them and then just dash them away. We're not them people there. Eh? Exactly. We, we've got something big and bad to look forward to, man. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll gonna leave it to you. Right. Like, <laughs> Can't. Grab me on. Ecclesiasticus chapter. I'm saying it right. Ecclesiasticus mm -hmm. chapter. Oh, so what? Yeah, Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 and grab me 21. Right, Ecclesiastic Sua 10, 21, it says, The fear of, your, uh, the, fear of the Lord your house shall I go before the uh, obtaining of authority. So, the, so before you obtain authority, the fear of the Lord your house shall needs to be there before any authority. There's more. Yeah, but roughness and pride is the losing thereof. But roughness and pride, it's one thing being rough, being bold. But when pride's mixed with that, what happens? There's no humility. This truth is about all humility. This is what I've been learning. Certain things have been happening, Calm. and I might not realise straight away, and over time I realise, ah, this truth is all about humility. That's what I'm learning. So would you grab me, um, yeah, Matthew 5? Come. And you know what the scripture says, blessed are the meat. Alright. It's one thing, it's, it's, it's one thing, it's beautiful. Yeah. The scripture says, knowledge puff it up. So yes, that's what the, this what this knowledge is going to do. But there's a difference between being humble and proud and puffed up. Yeah, I got it for you. You ready? Go ahead. Matthew 5 verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek. The meek are the lowly, the humble, for they shall inherit the kingdom of earth. The kingdom of, what's it, heaven? It says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. The earth, rulership, because they're meek. They're worthy of repentance. Mm -hmm. If you're meek, you're repenting. If you're not meek, you're not repenting. You're bucking up against Yahweh Shai. Now, would you grab me James, Baba Kashar, James 3, Can't. and jump straight to 5? Yeah. Men... Man, a lot of men come and do this truth. They don't really know what it's about. That vainglory spirit. That vainglory. Look what I, it's not about that. You can know a hundred million scriptures. If you don't have the humility of Yahweh Shai, it doesn't mean anything. Okay. Did you just call for James 4 and 5? 3, uh, so like, yeah, 4 and, you know what, let's start at 4. Baba Kishore, all, all right. the way down. James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteresses. Because our nation is a, a kingdom of um, adulterers and adulteresses. Same what? Same mother, different father. Yep. My, my brother from another mother. No, that's no my mother from another... My mother from another, another father. father. Right, right. Because you're, if you've got two different mums, but same father, you're still paternal, right. true, brother, brother. Continue, brother. Right, so it says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? The friendship of the world is the enmity with the Most High. It makes you at variance with this world. Okay? It makes you opposite of this world. This is what certain men don't understand. It's one thing, you're being in the truth, but to be of the world, one foot in the world and one foot in the truth, you can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. Would you quickly jump to... Um, Hold that, because I still want to go into that. Would you quickly grab me Matthew 7 and 24? You cannot serve two masters? Yeah. I think that's it. If I may just add to that, you can't have one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. Because mm. if you've got one foot in the world, you've got two feet in the grave. <laughs> well, well put. Well put. <laughs> what did you call for Matthew? Matthew's, well? um, Matthew 6 and 24, Baba Kasha. Yeah, Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says, No man can serve two masters. For he will either love the one and so for he will so like him start again. No man can serve two masters, for he will either hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the most high in man. -man. You can't have it two ways. A lot of men they want to come to the truth, they want their cake and they want to eat it. You cannot serve two masters. So you're either for your have a share, or you're not for him. You're either in the world or you're in the truth. It's not you can't have both of them. Okay, because men, they try to juggle both. You can't, because one's going to outweigh the other. And that word mammon goes into what? Money. The God of money. Money. What We, we have money for what? For ourselves to look after the brotherhood, to have a roof over our, on our head, over our head, and to pay the bills, and to do these videos. Because if we didn't have money, 
we wouldn't be able to do these videos and right. publish it on YouTube. That's, that's always for anything outside of that. It's rubbish, but men, they put the carnal first and they don't put the spiritual first. Then they wonder why they're lacking in the spirit. If you go back to James, Baba Kasha. Yeah, back in James once again. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. So if you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, point blank period. That's what it says. That's right. There's more. And it says, Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? See, the spirit, that's what happens. It's, it's really not of the spirit, it's of the flesh. But the flesh, that's what the flesh wants. He wants to envy. Can't be in that spirit. If a brother's got a talent, that's the talent he's been blessed with. Me personally, if I see a brother doing good, I cheer him on because that's my spirit. That's right. And that's how we're supposed to be as brothers. If you see your brother with particular talents, yeah. that brother didn't just get that overnight. He oh. had to go through stuff. He had to go through a humiliation right. process to get where he got. So it ain't just a thing you can come into the truth and all of a sudden shoot up there. It doesn't work like that. And if you do do that, if you're not supposed to be there, you have a shower, bring you right down. There's more. Yep, it says... Um, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, The most I resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. It says it here, where he giveth more grace, what? To the humble. Grace is mercy. Mm. So, knowing that he giveth more grace to the humble, and we want mercy, that means we have to be more humble. Wow. That's how we're going to receive that grace. But resisteth the proud, so resisteth means staying away from. See, there's one thing, every brother in this truth, they get to the point where that pride clips in, but I'm talking about prideful, where nobody's checking it, because if nobody's checking it, what's going to happen? Going to be right out of the truth, because the scripture can't dwell with um, a prideful spirit. It can't dwell. That's why it says it resists it. You're resisting someone. You don't want to come near them. Humility is key. Is there any more scriptures on there? Yeah, there is. Help just, me out. Help me out. Yeah, I've just got a precept for you. Um, bear with me. Help me out. This says, uh, precept to what the brother's saying, Psalm 75 and 6, because he was talking about uh, brothers may have talents and it, it didn't just come overnight for many of us, they had to go through a process of humiliation. Yeah. Right, so it says, uh, Psalm 75 verse 6, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but the Most High is the judge. He putteth down one, and he setteth up another. That's it, so promotion coming from the neath, that's the north, neither the east, neither, neither the west, but from the most high. It's him that lifts you up, and it's him that can bring you down. And he set up one and another. Would you go to Daniel's two? Come hmm. It's him that controls all these things. If you put yourself in a position you're not supposed to be in, it's going to be evident you're not, you're not supposed to be in that position. There's a lot of good scriptures on that in Proverbs. I'll look for them for you in a minute. To what? Um, I'm looking for Daniel's for just a minute. This is why I need to go over the scriptures continually because certain scriptures just leave my mind. If you don't use it, you lose it. Right, mm -hmm. right. Let me just a minute. That's another reason why you want to be in this truth as much as possible. Right. Not because I say, okay. Bear me just a minute. If any of you brothers want to chime in while I'm looking for this. All right, let me bring this one, this precept out. This is in Acts, concerning what you're saying. And uh, 19 says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahweh. You know, re repenting is just not a one off thing, man. No, it's you know? a daily thing. Beautiful, I mean, beautiful, I mean we, was, we was talking to you about. Um, I used to. When we were younger, we used to kill off the kill off things easily, you know, just kill off incense easy. But if we used to try it with the, with what I know now, which I'm not which I'm not saying you can't kill insects, but with what I know now, there's a, there's more of a conscience thing concerning just killing things just for the sake of killing things. Yeah, but that's the Edomite spirit. Dogs or whatever, whoever, you know, they kill off the 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 the, 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 the ele elephant for ivory, the the lion, the cheetahs for their skin. Uh, there was a thing called Born Free on a little while ago. Yeah, I'm going to give it back to you. I've just got to say this, yeah? Uh, Born Free, right, is about uh, a lion that uh, was brought up by some Edomites and they loved, they spoke, they're real animal lovers, right? And I just saw a little glimpse, a little clip of it the other day. They had a, a they was coming to pick up a lion from rescue something, yeah, it was some kind of safari. And on top of the, the roof of the truck, was a lion skin, man. I yeah. think that's a contradiction. Lion skin and just on top of just there for the sake of it. 
that wasn't put there by chance because Esau knows what he's doing. When they, it was a film, yeah? He's a, yeah, it used to be a series that come on, Born Free. There you go, because these directors, the, everything in the shot is carefully, meticulously planned out. They storyboard it, like they know exactly, like, okay, we're going to have two extras walking from the left to the right. It's all controlled, so they put that there on purpose, and that was probably there for you, for your spiritual eye to click it, because most people probably wouldn't check that. They wouldn't have seen it, and they'd be like, oh, these Edomites, they're so... Yeah, 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 yeah. So we used to love that. Yeah. Esau's full of shit, man. Yeah. The animals animals would be just fine if you didn't keep fucking with them, yeah. and locking them up <laughs> in your prisons. Because yeah. that's what a zoo is. It's just a prison, a prison for the animals. Then you take them halfway across the world, to um, environments where they're not really meant to be at, you mm. take them out of their natural habitat, then they're just sitting in the zoo looking all depressed. All right, if you go to the zoo, it's so lucky. Go to the zoo, you see these lions and these tigers, these powerful creatures, and they're just sitting there like, yeah. they're just depressed. And then every so often, right? That's number one. Every right. so often, you hear a story on the news where, oh, some zookeeper got savaged and mauled to death by a lion, and they're like, oh, Cecil. it's so sad. Yeah, fuck them, man. They shouldn't yeah. be in there in the first place. So tying it in, tying it in with this point, because we don't want it to. We're not. We're not going off the topic. Right. Um, we, we we have a repentant spirit about us. Yep. Esau doesn't. So when we do something, we even if we just did it and we think, hold on a minute, was that really necessary? We repent. We repent and we say, oh, we don't. Hey, we don't have to do that. I ain't gonna do that again. Can't. That's that's humility. We're learning humility. And Esau found no place of repentance. Right, would you grab me um, Daniel's 2 and 19, and 19 Baba Kasha. Yeah, so Daniel chapter 2 from verse 19. Then there was a secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the Most High of Heaven. The power, yeah, the power of heaven. Why? Because that's who that vision was revealed to. Who gave him that vision? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So he blessed him. Everything we have is a gift and it's from Yahweh Shire. There's a bit more. And Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever, um, for wisdom and might are his. So wisdom and might come from Yahweh Shai. He gives us that wisdom. He gives us might. He gives us strength. There's more. And it says, For wisdom and might are his, and he changeth the times and the seasons, and he removeth kings, and setteth up kings, and give wisdom unto the wise and knowledge yes. to them that know oh. understanding oh. that's it so we give him wisdom he sets up kings he gets rid of kings as it tells you previously oh. nebuchadnezzar oh. king cyrus and so forth he's the one that sets up kings he's the one that takes down kings it's all in yahushua's hands he controls the power seat he controls everything a bit more yeah don't worry about that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. reading on it says um verse 22 he revealeth the deep secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light that dwelleth with him. That's it, that's it. So yeah. he revealeth the deep and secret things, the parables, the mysteries. And guess what? He gives them unto us also. That's why we know these mysteries. That's why we know the secrets. Right. Every, everything we need to know about life, we know. So this is a blessing. Don't think this is um, some mediocre thing. Everything you should know about life, you know. Through the scriptures. You have the answers. But the only thing is it the only thing is we're in this um mm. sinful flesh. Oh. That's the only thing. So you're lucky. The people around here you're seeing, they don't know the meaning of life. That's why they're doing what they're doing. We know the meaning of life. Mm. Okay? It's been given unto us. When you go to Amos 3 and when you find that scripture, um it's, he revealed if these secrets unto the prophets. Amos 3 and what? So it's lucky. I think it's 3 and 19. Can't. Mm. It's a blessing. Can't. There's no 19 in the third chapter of Amos. How does the scripture go? Oh man. Just he he, he revealed if he secrets unto the prophets. Right, I'll find I'll find servants it. the prophets. Um it's yeah, 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 seven. Right, Amos 3 and verse 7. Surely the most high power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So all the secrets, all the mysteries are revealed unto what? His servants, his prophets, not to everybody. Now would you grab me Matthew 13? And turn Baba Kasha. Can't. Wait, this is very nice now. Matthew chapter 13 says. Because even within all of our nation, not all of our people have the understanding of the scriptures. Ready? Yeah, when you're ready. Matthew 13, verse 10. And his disciples came unto him and said, Why speakest unto them in parables? What's parables? A dark saying, a riddle. 
And it's going to tell you why. A similar truth. It's going to tell you why. It says, um, yeah, why speakest unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So Yahweh Shai said, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But it's not given unto them, so the mysteries, they understood it. Yahweh was speaking clear in plain sight. So it wasn't a mystery to those that were supposed to what? To understand it. It was a mystery and it wasn't clear to those that were not supposed to understand it. There's more. Yeah, reading on it says, um, For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. That's talking about the understanding you already have. You're going to be given more. Yep. Yeah. And whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath it. That goes into someone that breaks down the scriptures, but they're not breaking down it right. They don't have the understanding. That, all, everything else will be taken away. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And it says, Therefore I speak unto them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And by seeing you shall see, and shall not perceive. Slow down for me, when you go straight back to where you started on that verse. Right, therefore I speak unto them in parables, because seeing they see not. Right, we've had it many times. I remember Caleb, me and you were at, what, GMS London Central. You know, people come past. What's this about? You explain it to them. Five, ten minutes. You still explain it to them. Show them the sign. Explain it to them for 20, 30 minutes. After that conversation, well, what's this about? Yep, they in one ear and out the other. Right, so that's where, that's that prophecy. Seeing, but they see not. The sign's clearly there. And I've had that when I'm on the highways, bear me just a minute, when I'm on the highways and byways, and people can see the signs and they're still asking, what is it? So that means they have eyes, but they cannot see, they don't have a spiritual eyes to see. So, so like, if I may add to your point, one of the big questions, because we had the sign of uh, Cesare Borgia with the horns. Oh, that, yeah. They'd always come and say, why have you got horns on Jesus? And we say, well, the Lord didn't look like that. We go into Revelation, break down the appearance of the Lord, and tell them that his name wasn't Jesus, it's Yahweh Shai. Then they'd still turn around and say, but why have you got horns on Jesus? Right, so see, because they never saw it. And four more, four, four more, they had that on, it said on the sign. Revelations, so yep. and so, that's what it says. So that's indicative. But what it says, will you continue, brother? Yep, so reading on it says, right, so it says, um, and that is fulfilled in the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, by hearing you shall hear and shall not understand, and by seeing you shall see and shall not perceive. That's it, so hearing you shall not hear and seeing you shall not perceive. One ear and out the other, you see it, but you really don't see it. Okay, it's like everything you saw, it was, it was not really there, it just goes right back out. Now, when you go to Isaiah 6, and nine, Baba Kasha. Yep. It's all about the elect, even within Israel. Okay. When you first come into the truth, you got that zeal. You want to save all of Israel. Okay. But then you realize it ain't for all of Israel. But it's one good thing about this that oh, all our nation That's in the okay. kingdom. It's all right. Okay. It's all right. It lacks our energy. <laughs> all of our all of our people in the kingdom, they're gonna be saved. Even the two thirds. So right now we're only dealing with what the remnant. One four four. One third, men, women, and children. They're going to be delivered on this side. Those that can't get it, nothing we can do about that. We just have to keep teaching this word. Train don't stop for you because you can't get it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> you got some good, you got your own good power. Let's go to Isaiah 6 and 9. Come on now. Isaiah 6 and 9, it says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. So go tell this people that understand, that hear, but hear if not, and see, but see not, if I'm saying it right. Yep, that's right. Okay. So they see, but they don't see. Because they've got eyes, but their minds, spiritual eyes are blocked. Yep. So you could have eyes walking about, but you can still be blind. Okay. Yep, and if the blind need the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. For example, would you carry on for me? Yep, it says, make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So hold on a minute. This was commanded to an angel to harden their heart, harden their minds fat. Fat me. When you look up that fat, I went into it. It says wax gross, sticky fat. And that's why brothers in this truth, the diet has to be on point to the best of their ability. Because that also blocks your mind as well. 
yeah. when you go into the word fat, it means gross, sticky. It's basically they got sticky goo thickness on their brain that stops them from getting this truth. If I may add to that on the spiritual, these people are thinking about all the wrong things. They're thinking about, okay, what happened in these tenders? What am I going to do when I get home? What am I going to eat? What am I going to do tomorrow? Yeah. I'm going out to party at the weekend. Those are some of the, some of the fat things in the spiritual sense right. that block their mind from receiving this truth because they esteem the things of the world and of this life higher than they do the word of the Most High. So therefore, the, the Most High has given them over to the lusts of their own hearts right. and they will fulfill them. Right, continue. Yeah, so it says, um, Then I said, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So how long, it was asked to this angel, the cherubim, how long should these people be blinded? And it says, until the cities be utterly destroyed and wasted without inhabitant, until nobody dwells there. So in other words, Yahawashai, he's now justified in destroying our people. Why? Because they're blinded. Lest they should be see see how it works. So they're not going to convert two thirds of our people and the wicked of our people. Two thirds are two thirds of in um, America. Two thirds of in America, Babylon. But the rest of our people, they're not going to be converted. So Yahweh can be what justified in destroying. And he's he's already justified in destroying them. But that needs to happen. And therefore, if our people don't understand, what are they going to do? They're going to buck up against the truth. Yeah, I got, got I got one for you, bro. Uh, this is a uh, Surat or Ecclesiastes 11 and Yeah, yeah. 14 says prosperity and adversity, life and death, and po life and death, poverty and riches come of Yahweh. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord of, of Yahweh. Love and the way of good works are from Him. Hey, what, what, precept, what precept is that? Surak 11 and 14. I need to mark that down. Do you want to speak on that? Yeah, we, 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 when you opened up, man, you know, this is, this can be, it's given to us. Yeah, uh, uh, let me, let me read it again. Take, take, time. Time. take Breathe, take my time, let save this, <laughs> save this one. Yeah, Surak 11 and 14 says, Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of Yahweh. Right, I could just stay, stay on that just for a little bit. Um, yeah, man, life, uh, poverty, riches. Solomon, uh, you mentioned Job a couple of weeks ago. So that's a good, very good example. Job, was, he was made rich, but he, he, he withstood the, te the test of being poor, and the most I gave him back double. That's an example there. Knowledge and wisdom, man. Humility. Yeah, you, um, pr mo as you said, uh, wisdom can't stay in pride, man. It can't mix with... Uh, most side doesn't want to deal with you if you're proud, man. So humility, I always pray, pray, I don't blame my own trumpet, but because I've been in the world and I've seen pride, pride and I know that circle and I've seen what happens to proud people, that a lot of them are all locked up. I said, Lord, of you know, so I, I meditate and I try and I, when brothers talk to me and I listen, you know, I, I make sure that, yeah, I'm listening to what the brother's saying, man. You know, and my, and my own, and I pray regularly, you know, and that's not being over-righteous. I know I need to keep tabs on myself, you know. Yeah. That's a good way of thinking. You grab me Colossians 2 and 2, Baba Yeah. Uh, Colossians 2 and 2. And it says, For I would have ye, for I would, for I would that ye knew. No, no, 2. Uh, verse 2, Salakia. So like verse 2, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Colossians 2, verse 2. All the way down to um, 9. All right. Colossians 2, verse 2, it says, That their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance, understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of Yahweh and of the Father and of Havamashiach. Right, stop right there. So we have the full assurance. That's that confidence in Yahweh Shai and understanding and the acknowledgement of Yahweh Shai and the mysteries. This is what? This is Paul speaking to what? The Colossians, the different churches. Would you continue for me? Baba Kasha. Verse 3, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Oh, with whom is hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. We got them treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Would you grab, would you quickly grip, grab me, um, Caleb, grab me Matthew 6 and 19. Would you hold on to that, Baba Kishar? Oh, we got the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So the Rothschilds, they're trillionaires. Okay, and the scripture says, envy not the oppressor. I think it's Matthew 6 and 19. Grab me that scripture where it says, lay not our fear so treasure upon earth. 
Yeah, that's the right one. Matthew okay. 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon the earth, when moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves take root, where thieves break through and steal. Why? Because these things can be taken away. It tells you. Thieves break through and steal, but you have under you've got to have understanding. Why was Yahweh saying this? Because you would have those that would get comfortable and they'd be looking around the room or wherever they are and looking at these things. Oh man. But can I take that with me? No, you're not taking anything. Not even this flesh. That's why this is written. Not so you can get rid of everything. If you do that, that's a plus. Because that really shows your faith. But Yahweh was saying this so you would know what time it is. Not to lay up your for yourself trust upon heaven, but on earth. There's a bit more. Come on. Uh, it says. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moss, moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Which is this wisdom, knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Okay, well now would you uh, jump straight to John 8, I think it's John 10 and 10. Yep, Baba Kasha. Just a quick one, there's a little bit more. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. What a, this my, my, one of my favourite scriptures. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be, so your love. So whatever your mind's focus on, your mind's always going to be there, and that's how you can tell Who's about the truth and who's not about the truth? Now, when you grab me John 10 and 10, I believe it is. And it says, where thieves cannot break through nor steal. Nobody can steal the treasures you've laid up. And at times I get down, because I'm looking at I'm looking at some things, I'm thinking about some things. My first channel, 14,000 um, videos oh. over that. Wow. And I think, hold on a minute, but that got deleted. Yeah. But Yahawashai sees everything you've done. The blood, sweat and tears, the effort you put into this truth. Don't worry about your page getting taken down. Yeah, it does hurt. Yeah. But <laughs> especially when you put in a lot of effort and it's like they just take it all down. And that's what I'm trying to, that's why I came late as well. I was trying to um, recover some files, but you know what? I can't recover them because he so he completely wiped it off. I should have backed it up, you know, but it is what it is. But you know what? I shouldn't even be get caught up on that because Yahushua, he's already got my works. The angels have marked it down. You've done this, you've done that. Even today, the angels mark all you brothers that came in. Angels, are you he came today, yep, another ticking. Um, <coughs> what brother's name? What's your name again? <laughs> yum yum. Hey, right, what's your Abba name again? Abawan. Oh, yeah. Abawan yeah. came here again today. It's lucky. He's and Caleb. Just... Okay, Caleb oh, came here today. It's all marked down every week. Even the little things you do, every video counts. And you're not going to be in a spit every day, but every video counts. Now, would you grab me John 10 and 10? I think it is. Yeah, John chapter 10, verse 10. Mm. Uh, the thief cometh not but to, uh, to kill. Sorry. The thief cometh not but for but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yep, that but, ain't just it's lucky, I'm cutting you off. That's alright, Alright, let's start again. The thief cometh not but for to kill and to steal and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah, that's talking about Esau, but you do know a lot of these scriptures are twofold. That's why hey, this a lot of these scriptures are twofold. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill. This is also talking about our own nation. If you're covetous, you're going to be trying to kill and steal. If you're not about this work, you're going to be trying to kill and steal. No man can take what you have, except from you have a share. That's why you got to endure. That's why we got to continue. You see how these scriptures link up? Now, would you grab me Colossians 2 and 2 where we were? About the four assurance, we were on verse 3. Right, Colossians 2, verse 3, it says, in whom, are all, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Whoa, that's where you got to be careful. Beguile you with enticing words. There's a lot of doctrines out there. There's a doctrine, um, all tribes are black. John the Baptist wasn't a, what, wasn't a prophet. Where's, these are all vain philosophies. Okay, what else? Enticing words. Mm. Um, you can shave your beard off. Yeah. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? You, you can wear uh, bulletproof jack, uh, vest because um, King David had a shield. That's, that's the newest oh, one so of that's it. that's what they're coming See, these, yeah. are, these are all seducing spirits. You can eat pork, mermaids, the 12 tribes.